So now I want you to think a little bit about the following task. Write a grammar for a language where you get a word where the word is a binary number. Okay, what is a binary number? Well, we remember it consists of zeros and one. So our alphabet is just zero and one. And as a hint, it suffices to say we have a starting symbol, which we can say, for example, is B. And our non-terminal, we just need one non-terminal, which is B again. And with using similar rules as those here, those three rules, we can now generate an arbitrary any binary number. So now here are basically the definition of the grammar again uh, of our production rules and have also a look at our example grammar here. Think a little bit about it, try to approach it, try to approach this problem, try to understand what really those production productions meant and those rules and what kind of rules you could use. Write a couple of different binary numbers down. Have a, tr have a try on this group work and pause the video now. So welcome back. I hope you made a little bit of progress. If not, it's not a big deal. This is a tough, really a tough um, task for you. And as it requires a lot of mathematical thinking, construct, concepts, abstract thinking, but I hope when you see the solution, you will understand this problem better. So remember, we wanted to write a grammar for the language L, where, which consists of Ws, where W is a binary number. So we here we can use the production rules B. And what we need to remember, right? We need to generate any binary number. So let's get started with this rule three here. So we, certainly a binary number is zero, right? So we need to generate zero. Certainly another binary number is one. So we need to generate one. Now all, all that we miss is that we don't need to, we want to generate more than a single digit binary number. We want to create arbitrary long binary numbers, right? So we have to basically recursively repeat this rule. So we say B generates zero or B generates one, and then it generates B again, okay? so. This way you can, if you need to generate zero, 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 what you need to go, you need to apply this rule, you get a zero, this rule again, you get another zero, now you have two. Last you apply this rule, you get a third zero. Right? Now you can generate arbitrary long strings. Okay, so this is we see this concept of recursion that we learned in functions here again. So there are many grammars that can define the same language, in fact, but I wanted to show you a rather easy one. 